Hi, I'm Dan Sherrill, Applications Engineer at TJ Snow Company. Talk to you a little bit about uh, the difference between flash welding and butt welding. Both are considered butt weld joints, but they are different processes for different applications. With flash welding, you saw that we load the parts with the ends together, but when the sequence starts, it backs away from each other, so there's a gap. You turn the weld current on, and bring them together slowly so that you create the arc uh, and build heat in the part to be able to forge it. Um, with a standard butt weld, you would again load the parts with the ends touching, but it's more like a, re a standard weld where you would apply the force to the ends of the bar so that you're, you're pushing the ends together under force, then turn the current on uh, and make a weld it's uh, you get a lot cleaner uh, weld joint but it's only good for uh, for bar sizes um, up to maybe five eighths of an inch somewhere in that area when you start getting into larger bar sizes the welder size has to get so large to be able to pass enough current to make that weld that you want to go to a flash weld in most cases we're going to set up a uh, a uh, ring to be welded uh, so that we can demonstrate how the how the flash weld takes place and uh, what it looks like and what the parts look like after the weld is made. Here you can see a flash welded joint uh, requires, most of them require a lot of cleanup afterwards. Uh, here's some examples of some other joints that were flash welded. Uh, you can see it's everything from electron, electrical equipment, automotive parts, uh, construction equipment, tools, um, seating, uh, chain links. There's just a wide range of parts that are flash welded or butt welded. Um, the list can go on a long ways. Here you can see a uh, a standard butt welder as compared to the flash welder. It's much smaller in size, much simpler. Uh, again, you see the parts being loaded with the, wel with the ends together. Current applied in the sequence. It's a very fast sequence. It works very well on smaller diameter rods and uh, some small flat sheets. You can see in the slow motion part of it how it, uh, you don't really want to start with uh, smooth cut ends as that takes a lot more current to start the weld, but uh, just standard shear cut and uh, it'll generate and, and make the weld rather quickly. You can see the weld it should be as strong as parent material. If you have any questions on flash welders or butt welders, you can call our telephone number there and ask to speak to someone in applications and uh, we'll be glad to help you.